Hello and welcome back to the Pokemon Leaf Green non-randomizer Nuzlocke. Uh, I wanted to say randomizer there out of pure habit. Uh, we're back. I've done some grinding. Uh, and we, we now have some pretty decent team members. Uh, both Banzas and Vanessa have evolved. Uh, which is very cool. And also Pidge learned Gust. Uh, if, in case any of you were wondering about why I couldn't go to the Pokemon Center uh, last episode, it's uh, because I've been trying to do a ROM hack, and I accidentally opened that instead of the regular ROM, uh, and I messed up all of the save loading stuff in that ROM. Uh, and I, I loaded I loaded the same save state in this one, or in uh, the ROM that isn't completely busted, uh, and the person, somebody stood in front of the Pokemon Center, and they were a cut tree, and they were telling me about watering their plants, uh, and it was just generally kind of broken for a little bit. But then I went inside of a building and left and it was fine. This gym battle is gonna be really hard because I don't have any super effective moves and all of the ones, all the moves that I do have are resisted by rock types. Uh, so uh, we're gonna have to rely on Banzas here because Banzas has confusion. That didn't even do half on Geodude. Okay, this is gonna be... Whew, this is gonna be a long long gym battle. It, oh, and when we get into the cave, oh, I just realized how terrible Mount Moon is gonna be. I know that, um, I know that uh, Char Charmander actually learns Metal Claw at some point, uh, but I felt like uh, do getting all the way up to that was a bit over-leveling, so I decided against it. Anyway, we're gonna start the Brock battle now. Uh, it's gonna be a bloodbath. So you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter City's gym leader. My rock-hard willpower is evident in, even in my Pokémon. My Pokémon are all rock-hard and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokémon are all rock-type. ha <laughs> You're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. Wow. I'm Brock. I'm gonna use my frying pan as a drying pan! Alright, so we're probably gonna die. Good job, Ban. I suppose, because Onyx knows, uh, Onyx knows Bide, we could just, like, leer him into infinity. Uh, I think I'm just gonna... I'm gonna Confusion a bunch. Oh, it, oh, it knows Rock Tomb. Oh, wow, Bansis is dead. I didn't know that it... Oh, Bansis, no, the first loss of the run. Well, we're screwed. Because all of our good Pokemon are weak to that. Um, I didn't know that it knew Rock Tomb in this version. He only knows Tackle and Bide in the other one. Okay, uh, Debbie. We're gonna need you to just Tail Whip a bunch. He knows Bind, too? Oh, okay, this is not good. This is really not good. Even if I did allow Helion as a battle, I don't have any potions. Alright, Debbie, we're gonna just... I just need you to last through this bide, or this bind, and I'm just gonna keep tail whipping. Come on, Debbie. Come on, Deb. I believe in you. Alright, Debbie. Poor Banzas, though. Oh, wow. The first loss already on the first gym leader. Although I suppose I lost my first Pokemon in the white Nuzlocke, like, before I even faced the first one. I was already down. But, yeah, I lost... Didn't I lose? I think I lost Briggs. Uh, okay. Uh, Debbie survived this. No, Debbie! No! Oh, I wanted to use a Rattata for once in my life. I'd never used it before. Alright. Um, every Pokemon I have is weak to rock. Okay. Um, let's go, Nessa. Uh, I'm gonna just... Is it better to try and go for the, the poison, or to just do, a do as much damage as possible? I'm gonna go for as much damage as possible, because I've already weakened it. Poison point? Poison point, come on, come on, come on. No, alright. That doesn't even- oh my gosh, this is- We're so screwed. We are so screwed. And Nessa's stuck in. Ugh. Please don't die, Nessa. Alright. Poison, I need you, I need to poison the Onyx. It's the only way we can possibly win. It's our only shot. Come on, survive this. Come on, Vanessa. No! 
No, no, no. Ah, uh, we didn't even get the poison off. Okay. Um. Ah, uh, all right, Larry. Uh, growl. We have to growl. This is, this is impossible. It, his his attack stat remains as it is. Larry, he, I've used a Firo in every single playthrough of Kanto that I've ever done. <laughs> I need this. This run can't end in the failure. I, this we need to survive this gym battle because I have more riding on this fight than just than most fights against the first gym have. Come on, Larry! Come on, Larry! 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 No! Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, we are so dead. All right. Ah. Uh, I know I've leered you a bunch, but I'm just gonna try Embering. The the attack stat lowering is crucial, but uh, okay, burn, burn. I need to burn him. This is the only way. I need to burn him and then growl him even more until he's at minus six. Uh, Chell just needs to survive this turn. Chell just needs to survive. No critical hits. Come on. Yes. <sighs> Coach, hello! Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh my gosh! That was. Uh, now you learn Metal Claw. Okay. Ah! Uh, we just lost four Pokemon in one gym battle. Four! <laughs> oh, defeated Brock! I took you for granted, and so I lost. As proof of your victory, I confer on you this, the official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. Oh my, that was, that was a bloodbath. That was a bloodbath. What are we gonna do? We're going into the, we're going into Mount Moon with a fire type and a flying type and nothing else. Everyone is dead. Banzas, I didn't really care for you at all, but Confusion was sort of helpful a little bit, but then you died. Uh, Vanessa, I legitimately wanted to use a Beedrill, uh, because I constantly underestimated it, but that didn't happen, and I'm so sorry. Larry, uh, I've used Spear- I've used Spiro and Firo so many times throughout my many playthroughs of Kanto Region. Uh, yeah, sorry that you're dead now. And Debbie, I really wanted to use a Rattata, because I've always passed them up before, and I just wanted to give them a chance. But we're not going to get that chance, so, uh... To the four Pokémon here that we lost, rest in peace. Uh, we'll try to make your deaths not have been in vain. Uh, if I just ground up Charmander one more level, none of that would have happened. Actually, no, it, uh... Charmander probably still would have died to Rock Tomb. I can't imagine that he would have survived that. Alright. Let's go on. Oh, there's so many people I have to fight before I can get an encounter. I forgot about Route 3 being like this. Alright, we gotta we gotta evolve Cello as quickly as possible because we're kinda hurting at the moment. I will never underestimate Brock ever again. I see now why Onyx's attack stat is the way that it is, because even when it's like that, this happens. But we do get two encounters on this route, because uh, we get to buy the Magikarp. So, not all hope is lost. One of something weird, uh, I believe that it is uh, Bulbasaur, uh, Chikorita, and Gr uh, Turtwig all evolve into their final forms earlier than uh, the other starters do. Which, I don't understand. Like, are you trying to say that they're weaker? I don't... I don't understand why they weren't treated as equals. Because, like, in Gen... In Gen 3, they were like, Alright, let's just standardize it. 16 for the first evolution, 36 for the second. But then they went back to in Gen 4, and ever since Gen uh, 5, it has been completely standardized across the board. I don't understand why it was ever... Ha why, why the starters would ever evolve at different levels. I don't get it. Also, I don't understand why Pokemon or why different starters don't have the same base stat total, like from the same uh, from the same group of starters. 
like Torterra has a lower base stat total, a lower base stat total than Infernit. What's what's the deal with that? Why, why, why are you just, why are you making one of the starters just objectively inferior? Do I have Pokeballs? Okay, I have four Pokeballs. All right, let's go. Let's see what we get here. A Nidoran that can learn Double Kick. All right. Yay, we caught it! Ha! Oh, we're not entirely screwed. Luisa, because I am obsessed with Encanto. All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna grind up Luisa because I really need a Pokemon that can deal with Rock types without being get without getting godded by them. Wow, that's a lot higher level than I remember it being. I would like to go home now. Ah. Uh... <laughs> You're not wearing shorts. What's wrong? There's two. I didn't realize there were two. I didn't realize that there were two shorts are comfy, easy to wear, dudes. There we go. Cello's evolving now. Wow. Now you can potentially not die in the first battles that we do in the cave. Hopefully. <laughs> Please. Let's go cello. Pokemon, let's go cello. It's not the Pokemon cello. You literally just go to. <laughs> you literally just go to Youngster Calvin's cello recital. Hey there! I don't have enough to buy the magic harp. No! I don't have enough to buy the magic harp. Oh, I have to go battle a trainer. I'll be right back. All right. Well, this is our encounter. Zubat. All right. It's not what I wanted. It's not what I wanted. Yeah. Name is Batmon Pant. Give me your money so I can buy a fish. Yeah. Louisa, and it didn't. Louisa didn't even level up from that. All right. Let's go buy a rat. A different rat fish. It's not a rat at all. Yeah! Thank you. I want to give him a magic harp a nickname. It's a girl. Uh, we're gonna call her... Welcome to the team, Calamity. Alright, Louise, I believe in you. You can beat up this Clefairy. Never mind. No, you can't. Okay, wow. That was... That was short-lived. Paris! Aw, I wanted a Paris. Double kick! Louise has a good move now. Yeah! Uh-oh, Team Rocket! We're Team Rocket. We're gangsters. We strike fear with our own strength. I was not exp I'll, I'll come up with a better voice for them later. I don't know. I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> Just die! Just please die! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Choosing Charmander was a mistake. The current mission is to protect Luisa at all costs, because she can evolve uh, twice in like 20 minutes. You did blow it. Also, I find it funny how, even though they're criminals, they still abide by the, like, I'm gonna give you money after I lose thing. <laughs> Sometimes I think about the Pokemon world and how I have to go through caves just to get to a different town. Like, how does this world function as a society? How do they do anything if you have to traverse a deadly cavern every single time you want to go get milk? Do you think there's anybody who plays Pokemon and, like, pays super close attention to exactly how much money they earn from every battle. Alright, Luis is level 15, and I have rare candy. Yeah, Luis is evolving! Yeah! It's big. I'm pretty good job, kid. I said kid twice. I'm just... I'm just... This is... This is a little look into my process of making these things. Uh, I don't know what voice to give them, so I'm just... I'm just sitting in silence, just trying to figure out, alright, what's the funny joke gonna be with this one? Because, like, with Team Plasma, it's like, hey, Team Plasma! And then, like, the lady sounded like, I'm Team Plasma! And, like, I can't remember exactly, it was something along those lines. Uh, and then you had, uh, Team Galactic, which was, Hello, uh, hello, I'm Team Galactic! I'm James from the first season of the anime! That was, I believe that was Team Galactic's entire thing for both genders. Uh, but now I need to figure out what the gimmick is going to be with Team Rocket. Thief! Ooh, Pidge. Ooh, I should- I'm gonna- Pidge doesn't have any really good coverage at the moment, so I'm gonna give it to Pidge rather than Louisa. Just because Louisa has insane coverage. Or maybe actually, I, I don't know if, uh, uh, I do not know for a fact if Nido Queen and Nido King have the same move pool. But I would, I would assume they would. I think that all that changes is that Nido Queen is slightly more defensive than Nido King is. And there's a hidden moonstone somewhere. Where are you? Is it here? No, is that the moonstone right there? Is that it? There it is. We found a moonstone. All right. We already have our first fully evolved team member. Let's go. Moonstone. 
I still I still find it incredibly funny and strange that they're just like, you know what? Sure, why not? Just let them evolve this Pokemon as soon as you catch it. What? Why not? It's just a really strange game design choice, but I'm very glad that they did it, because now uh, we're hopefully a bit safe for a little while, and we have our new strongest team member by a very, very large margin. All right, now we get to choose a Pokemon uh, after, we bite, after we fight this guy. Uh, we get to choose our fossil of the run, and I get to decide whether or not I want to do the haha -ha funny uh, Lord Helix thing, or if I want to choose Kabuto, because I legitimately don't know which one I prefer. And to be honest, you get this Pokemon so late in the game, like, you get you get the fossil right here, uh, but you don't get to revive it for so long, and I don't understand why they made that decision. Because these are like, you, when you revive them, they're like level 15, if even. Super Nerd Miguel, uh, beat you up, and this guy isn't even like, we're just, we literally just beat up this guy and stole a fossil from him, just so that we could just so we could use it on our funny Pokemon team. Like, this guy is totally in the right. What is wrong with us? Alright, so here's the thing. I like Omanyte more than Kabuto. But I like oh, I like Kabutops more than I like Amistar. Wow. Did he just say that we were soulmates? Alright, we got a new encounter here. Let's see what we got before we go to Cerulean City. Sandshrew. I like Sandshrew. Sandshrew's cute. Alright, let's see. Do not crit, please. I don't want to kill the Sandshrew. <laughs> Alright, this, this is where I'm gonna end off the video now. Uh, yeah. So many people died. So many Pokemon are now deceased. Uh, and we're gonna have to live with our choices. So, uh, uh, this is a we thing, by the way. You are a part of this. You are partially responsible for what has transpired. Uh, you signed a contract. I just erased your memory of it. So uh, I don't know where this bit is going. So I'm just going to stop talking.